Hey everybody, it's Melissa. How's it going today? I'm kind of sore whispering because my husband's asleep. So I kind of swear I gotta be a little bit quiet. But I'm not gonna talk like that through the whole video, I promise. What's going on? How's it going? Hope you guys are having good weather. Uh, I was reading some comments from other people a couple of days ago. They were getting snow. Which I wouldn't be, you know, I would prefer snow over rain. But right now we're having a nice stretch of weather. Um, supposed to start raining again, I think, Friday. Kind of hope it doesn't. But at the same time, oh my gosh, this past weekend, you could not even get out into the highway in front of my house because there was so much traffic going to the beach. We have beautiful, beautiful beaches. And I only live about, you know, 45 minutes from the beach itself. And the road in front of my house goes straight to it. And so everybody from Washington State, from, you know, the other end of Port, or other end of uh, Oregon, Portland, places like that, when they call for nice weather, they they jump in their little cars and they head down this one little highway. We have one little highway that's a two-lane highway that leads straight to the coast. And I don't know why they do not build a, an actual, you know, bypass that's an intersection, you know, that will save, honestly save lives because people die on this highway horribly every year because of it. So, but it gets extremely congested. And, you know, we live out in the middle of nowhere, but we have the road access to the beach. <laughs> so everybody goes to the beach. Fun, fun, fun. Okay. But anyway, I am so grateful for this weather. It feels so good. And I'm trying to get projects done in my house. And my body seizes up as soon as it starts raining. So this weather has really been a help. Love it. Hope you're having nice weather. Hope you're getting out there in the spring and enjoying the flowers and not dying of your allergies because I know that feeling too. Okay, guys. So today we're going to do two things. We're going to flip through my Kiki KA5 that I've been using. This is one of the new ones that I got a couple of weeks ago. And then, since we had our 1,500 giveaway, 1,500 subscriber, I am going to show you what we're going to be doing for the 2,000 subscriber giveaway. I have a nice little gift for you guys too once i hit that number so but first let's check out this planner now this is the light pink one the a5 this is the one that came kind of somewhat damaged um because it was you know right there it looks like somebody's actually been sitting on it <laughs> but it's just a little you know it honestly looks like it could have been a return or just I, but everything was in it, tags were on it. So I'm assuming that it was just, you know, one that's been sitting in the warehouse a little bit and that's just the way it was made and that's just the way it came. Probably could have sent it back um, and requested a new one, but that would have taken forever and I was just like, by that time spring's gonna be over. Why, well, you know, nah. Yeah, I'm like, it's all good. It's all good. I got it at such a cheap price that, you know, and you know, I did order the Birch A5 too and it, it's, it's perfect. So, but yeah, anyway, I still love the color. It's, I could have stood it if it was just a little bit more pink or really, really could, but I love the rose gold and the rose gold rings are just, just my jam right now. I love it, love it, love it, love it. So I've tried to decorate it appropriately because you know me sometimes i'll just throw tons of stuff in there it's just a big goulash of of you know prettiness i like goulashes of prettiness but this one i've actually tried to be good and just put stuff in there that kind of matches i still have my little girls for my planners anonymous box from michael's i got last year um also some little sunflowers that came in one little butterflies this just looks good with, to me, this looks good with pink. That just really does me. Little bows I got from Michaels. None of that stuff costs a lot of money at all. Uh, little stickers that I use every now and then. Oh, there's a receipt from Walmart. But these are, that's Erin Condren, and that is just some that came with the Kiki K. 
So I just stuck them here in the back. I don't have anything in the zip pocket. I don't really ever usually use the slip pockets. I use them in the smaller planners, but not so much in the A5. And then just a little pretty knickknack back there. And I'm hoping you guys can see, I have got to get a taller tripod because if I try to, you know, show anything like this, obviously it's out of frame and this is as far out as it'll go. So I've got to get a, ta a taller tripod that will help things. But this is, of course, is from Carpe Diem. It's just one of the page dividers. I like to have something like this on the front and on the back. It kind of just protects your pages. So I always have that and then I put a little simply gilded bow up there. I've got to get me some more. I'm out. I need more. I love Simply Gilded's bows. I just do. And then this, you know, this is something I was like, oh, yay, yes, yes. It came with the, the planner. And Kiki K's never included these before. And it's plastic, so it makes a wonderful dashboard. Love it. I put these stickers on it to dress it up a little bit. It says, let go and grow. And then I'll make the pretty flowers. I love that. I just love it. I think it's perfect to open up your planner and see that. I think it's perfect. And then this is just one I made myself off Canva. I downloaded the image off Pinterest, so can't sell it in my shop. Sorry, copyright laws. But, you know, I just downloaded it, like I said, off of Pinterest, printed it out. I got a little plastic thing over it that makes it look super, super, super cute. And it just goes perfect with this planner. It goes perfect with it. And then, oops, I got my little vellum that I made. Now this I made off Canva and just printed it on vellum. Another one I made off Canva. And this is a little bit small. I cut it small, but I still think it's so pretty. And I actually like the way this next one kind of outlines it. Kind of works. None of these are for, you know, use. They're just pretty. They just make you happy when you open your planner. It's like I've heard some planner girls say, when you, your planner makes you happy like that, you're more you know, likely to go to it and check it and actually use it on a day-to-day -day basis. And then that I made off Canva. That's my name, Melissa. And this one. <laughs> See, and they all just go so cutely together. I think it's so pretty. And then this is boo -boo, from Day Designer. You can download for free. And it's just your bill tracker for year, quarterly, that kind of thing. Just write out your bills in case you forget one. Hey, there it is. There's my important information, important contacts. Right now, I don't have any important contacts. <laughs> I do, but they're pretty much just my doctors, so they're in my medical health planner. <laughs> And then here we go to monthly. I was telling one of my friends, Miss Odella, if you're watching it, hey, um, she was wanting me to make her some of these. And I told her I would, but right now I can't laminate anything because my daughter is still here. She hasn't got her moved into her new apartment yet. And when she did move in, I grabbed as much of my stuff as possible and moved it either into my bedroom or out here in my dining room so she could have my little planner room. I <laughs> want it back. But, um, so she just packed up a bunch of my stuff that I, I told her to go ahead that I wasn't going to be using immediately. Uh, and one of those things that I forgot to get was my laminator. And so she just packed it up. Probably doesn't even know what a laminator is. So it's in my closet somewhere. So I haven't been able to laminate anything. And you guys know how I love laminating. Um, but when she moves out and I'm hoping she's got an apartment, it's just, it's taking time to get into it because it's Brent. They just, basically they just opened up these apartments. They've renovated them and everything. And hopefully by the end of this month, I will have my room back because I'm redecorating every, I've done my kitchen. It's done. I have started on my dining room but I can't do anything else till she's out so that I can move all of this stuff back into my planner room. And then I'm working on my living room as well. That's my goal for the summer. But anyway, long story, bunch of rambling and rabbit tails just to say I can't laminate anything right now. <laughs> but had these forever, my little monthlies. Just another pretty one, walk by faith, yes ma'am. 
another pretty one daydream been doing it all my life and then these are my little these came with which one one of my kiki k planners but i can't remember exactly which one i am thinking it came with my uh pretty coral one i think but anyway i just love them and this color absolutely goes perfect also with this planner so perfect and then just put stickers on them i throw stickers on everything I love stickers. And then another vellum I made. I've got this one just about in every one of my planners just because I'm like, this is just pretty. It's just simple and pretty. And then daily routine kind of stuff. This was a freebie off some website and I can't remember which. And then, don't look at my mess. That's my scribbles. But I made that, I just put, oh, I didn't make it. I just put stickers on it, made it pretty. Just made it pretty. April, which can you believe it? We're here. You know, it's, I mean, we're almost halfway into 2021, ladies. When did that happen? I am going to be officially, in some people's eyes, a senior citizen this year. 55. Should you know some places consider you officially a senior citizen at 55? <laughs> Seems like just yesterday I was cool with my crimped hair. <laughs> anyway, I should dig out some pictures one day and show you guys me in the 80s. <laughs> I was a true child of the 80s, let me tell you. <laughs> but anyway, all my appointments. I actually canceled my sleep study and I've got to call my sleep doctor back. Because um, we just got too much. Right now, I have got so many medical bills. I'm like, you know what? I just, I don't need that right now and the reason he's wanting to do it maybe i do need it maybe for is because my sleep apneas have not been under control enough just using a cpap so he thinks it may be neurological there's some other kind of sleep apnea that's actually neurological but he wanted to do a different it's a different kind of study and there's more people involved checking you know measuring certain algorithms and things in your brain but i'm just like i just don't have the money for it right now i have got to get caught up on some of the stuff you know I've already had oh my gosh too much stuff done already this year and I'm still paying from stuff from last year and so I was just like I'm sorry I just I gotta be frugal I can't take every test under the sun um, it's just that simple well, just that simple right now okay so in a way so this was just my monthly. And this came from uh, Amazon. And I decided that I wanted some new ones for this particular planner. Um, of course, it comes when you buy these planners, they come with a full set. Some of them are dated and some of them are not. The ones that were in this one was not dated. I actually prefer dated um, when it comes to my monthly stuff. So I don't have to go through and write every little, you know. But anyway, these were very nice from Amazon. They were like eight bucks. But I wanted to get some from um, Etsy, so that's what I did, and I'll show you that in a minute. Another one of my, this is one of my laminated vellums when I had my laminator available to me. I miss my laminator, if you guys, you know, call on to that, yeah. But yeah, this makes excellent dashboards, guys. If you get a little $24 laminator from Walmart, get you some vellum, or print, you know, designs on vellum, and then, uh, sometimes I even just put stickers on vellum and then run it through a laminator. Boom, you got gorgeous little dashboards. All my planners have them in them. This is from today. This is my plan for today, but I have decided not to. My husband's off on his first night shift, so he usually likes to stay lazy today. So I'm going to put groceries off till tomorrow. And I actually got this done last night I'm going to do that I'm actually going to spray paint my handles off my cabinets that's really the only thing um, that I had left to do so that's just a little mini to do or so but that's some that I made these dailies I made I really love these because I kind of made them for the spoony world so you got your mood tracker here you got your a.m. and your p.m. meds there a symptom tracker here just so you can write down what's going on the, on that particular day and then to do's appointments priorities date 
So I, I like these, I like these a lot. So I've got a few of those in there. Here we are in our current weekly, and this is from Kiki K's, um, some dated weeklies that I have. She does her, or they do theirs. There's not, I don't think there's actually a Kiki K. I may be wrong about that, but I don't think there is. But anyway, these are done pretty much like the um, cloth and paper ones. Familiar with those, but the paper quality is not quite as good. It's much better than it used to be, but it's just not quite as good. So this is the week we're on right now. There was my day's list. I'm gonna go and revise that. You know, it's okay if you have a to-do list. This is my thing about to-do list. You write down things you need to do. Um, but if you don't get it all done, or if you just need to, you know, put it off to another day, that's perfectly fine. You don't have, you know, a lot of people freak out if they don't get everything on their to-do list done. I do not anymore. <laughs> you know, I give myself a break, basically. I'm like, you know what? Uh, small victories, accomplishments, especially for you Spoonie girls out there. And, you know, Spoonies are people with chronic illnesses. It, you know, count your small victories as, as wins. Absolutely. I have actually been painting, um, and it's, it's been amazing because my doctor doubled my pain meds for my fibro, and it's reduced my flares a lot, and it's also given me more energy. So I don't know how long that'll last because after a while your body becomes used to meds, so to speak, I guess tolerant of it, and, and you kind of fall back into the the same old symptoms again so I'm taking advantage of it while I've got it and I have set you know my goal for myself by the end of summer and I'm I think I'm going to beat that time frame big time because I've gotten so much of it done so far um, finished redecorating the, our living space and it needs it because it's a hot mess it's you know wore out and dingy and dark and scratches all over the paint and stuff from, from animals and kids when they were at home and when they come back home <laughs> and everything and so I'm just redoing it I'm just I my husband doesn't want me to paint all the walls white so I haven't I've been doing that pretty farmhouse gray combined with the white um my kitchen the walls I've painted the farmhouse gray painted the, I actually painted my kitchen cabinets okay painting them white been wanting to do that for a long time so you know I'm slowly going and I'm just making things look nice and setting little goals for myself and counting every little you know thing I get done a win a victory so there we go and so that's the end of this month except for I put this here I made those myself because for some reason they flip them over now the new inserts I got start in May so I had already had some stickers on this May one from um, Amazon. So I decided to um, go ahead and use that. I, just, I don't like to waste my stickers. But these are the inserts and these are really nice. The only thing about them that I wish she would do differently is from uh, G Papery and she's got a .com, but I think she also has an Etsy shop, so I got these off Etsy. Um, beautiful paper. The paper's really nice, and you can see I, the, I love this, you know, print, and they were very reasonable. Some people charge ungodly amounts for their inserts. These were printed already. I like that because it makes everything look nice and cohesive together, um, so I didn't have to fool with that, but these are really pretty, just really nice, bold leathers, easy to see. And plus, on this side, and I'm hoping I'm getting you guys in frame, kind of, sort of, area. You see, it's got week, what week you're on. I never know what week I'm on of the year. And I don't, I, my brain can't not hold that much information. <laughs> you can't calculate that way. But I really like them. But, the only, like I said, the only thing I don't like is she cuts them in half paper size rather than true A5 size. So true A5 would be a little bit shorter and a little bit wider. I, I would prefer true A5, but you know what, it works. Most of my things that I make for myself, I do in half, um, you know, 
half sheet because it's just easier that way. I can print things out on one page and then just cut it down the middle. So that's probably why she does it that way, which is not a bad thing. So I didn't decorate that. I, I did decorate this one a little bit for June, but it's just really pretty. They're just really nice. The paper's nice and smooth like I like it. It's the same kind of paper I use when I print my own. So I'm good with it. And I think they were only like, let me see what I paid because literally I'm not kidding when I tell you, people will charge you an arm and a leg. I looked at cloth and papers. I would love to have some cloth and paper sometime, but I'm just not willing to pay that price. Um, Jane's agenda why she's my I love her stuff and I got the her full set of everything um, monthly and weekly for she had them on sale for $29 for the whole thing um, that's still kind of spendy but for these I paid and went into my Etsy shop so not my Etsy shop but my account to tell you what I paid okay these for the uh, May through, uh, what did I get them through? Because sometimes they'll let you choose what months you want them in so you don't have to have them. So I got them from May, a whole year, then May of 2021 all the way through April of 2022. So a whole year was just $6.95 plus shipping and handling. And their shipping and handling usually is not very much. It's like, you know, three, four dollars. Um, which it really doesn't cost that much to, you know, ship, depending upon where they're shipping them from, I'll put it that way. But, so these I love. So if you wanna check these out, if you're looking for some, start off the fresh and summer with G Papery. And that's what it is on Etsy as well. So, you see it, there we go. That's her Etsy shop. So really, 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 really nice inserts. And she has them also for, you know, the other sizes, personal. I think you can get personal Y and A6 on there and everything. Very, very nice. Then this is another one that I just put stickers on. It's just a piece of acetate. And I put pretty stickers on that blend in with the pink divider. Bloom with Grace. Love that. And then just some of, you know, these just come out of some Happy Planner sticker books and another pretty pink one. And then here, here are some new inserts I am using. These I did not make. These I printed off Etsy and Lulz. I should just keep my Etsy shop open so I can show you guys what you know. Make sure I get you the Etsy shops. Uh, this one is from 3927 Designs. So, and it comes, you get your April, so you can print off as many for that month. And the uh, same with January through December. So they actually have that, so you can put, it's not pre-printed, so you don't have to, you know, use it over and over again, but you can use it, I mean, you don't have to use it just within 2021. You actually get to use it for as long as you'd like to. So that's pretty cool. I think that's the first ones I've ever seen like that. But look how nice and big this is. This is really nice and big. I'm still worried I'm not getting you guys in because A5 doesn't fit in this camera very well. But see, there you have your April to write that, that in. Then to-do list. Love line to things because my handwriting's atrocious. Priorities right here for the week now, of course. Notes and a habit tracker. And if you guys don't use a habit tracker, which I don't always use my habit trackers on these weeklies because I keep it in my health planner, you can put like a nice note sticker or something over there from like, you know, one of the happy planner books. They'll have sometimes these uh, horizontal ones and it'll be, you know, just for notes. And you just, you know, you know, you guys know, you know how to do this. Who am I talking to? So anyway, that is a very, very, I love it. I think it's very cool. So I've got that and you know me, I love diversity. So, these are some I made. Very, very simple. I put a tracker on them as well in a little priority section, but I added my little pink in there. So, I still like hers better. <laughs> I do like this so much better. It's so cool. But I love making tons of them. This one, not gonna lie, I don't remember where it came from. I think it was a free freebie off of a website and I just downloaded it, but I can't remember which one it is. But I'm like, this is cool. I love, you know, the gingham little style right there. And so you've got 
your whole week here with your weekend there. Habit tracker, task, and then she leaves you blank boxes in some of these, which I thought was really cool. You can use this as a habit tracker too. Just, it's just got, it's cool. I, mm, I just like the way it look, honestly. And I cut it just half size, but it has the, um, the marks where you can actually cut it down to A5 if you prefer that. Plus it prints on both sides when it prints and I dig that. And I also, not only do I have them in this color, but look at here, had them in this color with a slightly different design and I like it even better. It's kind of a, like a brown, a light brown. And so it's just, yeah, I like this one the best. That's the best. That's pretty, but that's the best. <laughs> you poor girls have to deal with me. Uh, this is some of mine. This is one of mine, but it's got a 2020 on it. So I didn't notice that when I did it. So I'll have to take that one out because I did go in and revise them and make them just, let me find it. I'll find it in a minute because I printed a bunch of stuff out here. Or did I print it? I know I printed it. Maybe it didn't send. Maybe it didn't, apparently it did not send. But anyway, I went in and I redid it and I took that out and I put a place up here at the top where you can date it for yourself. It just says monthly. Well, that makes me mad. Okay, but anyway, so that's gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to take that out, throw it away. And then one of my pretty, I love these. These are actually, <laughs> from a video game, okay? It's like a design thing that you can download off uh, the Play Store or uh, Apple Store, whichever you have. And people, you know, make their own little designs and then they actually publish them on like Pinterest. So you can see what they've done. And then I just download them on Pinterest and print them out because I just think they're pretty. Whoops, sorry. I think they're so pretty. And she's in a couple of mine just because I think she's extra pretty. And then this one is another freebie. Can't remember where I got her, but I didn't print them double side. But anyway, this is your, like an overview of your week. And then you have the dashboard um, design there. This is also something I like. I put in pretty much almost every one of my planners because I love it. I did vellum here with a printed copy here so that it's layered and it just gives it a lot of texture. I think it's so pretty. This is me talking like an interior designer. Then here's some that I made that are just simple, uh, kind of, you know, if you don't need to write down so much. And I just, I threw bows in there. Cause it's just me and my bow thing, that's all it is. But I made the pale pink to match the actual color of the planner, so it's pretty much spot on color wise and I put a few of those in there and then here we go into just kind of like your inbox section with just stuff I've got a few um, dailies in here from Carpe Diem but also have those dailies up front that I use and then here's my inbox and I can't show you everything in my inbox because it's private information you know the personal stuff but this came from uh, Happy Scrappy, and it's for Erin Condren, so you can snap it into the rings, but I just went in and punched it from A5. I did, and then I put stickers on it just because, you know, that's what I do. This particular one actually came with um, the other A5 pink quilted planner I got from Kiki K, and I just liked them so much I put them in here too. Just a couple of them, not all of them. And then there's UV stuff got more of my bloom on there and then here we go I've got let's see if I can do that without shisha but this is another vellum I made with and then laminated um, medical information medical contacts um I also have a I made I'll show you yeah I made one I made these for myself uh, medical to keep track of my medical bills so I can actually write down how much they are, date of service, um, amount owed. So I put amount paid so I can go in each time that I make a payment 
and write it down and then write out what I still owe, which is important right now. And then I just have a section for little notes and little little things, little things, don't you know? Have a couple more flags in there. But yeah, that's her, girls. That's how I'm using my A5. Honestly, I had not been using an A5 for quite a while um, just because I'd been using my personal wide. Oops, scoozy, scoozy. My personal wides and, you know, my smaller A sets and everything. Uh, more about decided, hey, I'm going to play with an A5 for a little while. And that's what I've been doing. That's what I've been doing. As far as some of the stuff that I've made and printed out for, this is one of the weeklies. It's just a simple weekly I made. Very, very simple. And I made two versions of it. Here you got to do section with your weekly up here. And then that's just a little bit more simple with your notes over here. So that's I'm going to use that a couple times. I love using different kinds of weeklies. Different weeklies and different dailies. That's my thing. I love that. And then this, just an image I downloaded. Uh, I think this one came off of um, Pinterest. And then I'm just going to cut it down to size and stick it in my A5. I don't even have it on cardstock. I'm just like, it's pretty. I'm just going to print it out. Because if you make it everything on cardstock, you lose a lot of space in your printer. I mean, your printer, in your planner. Because it's thick. So, just something I was wanting to put in there because it's just pretty. And then also, these little girls I did off Canva. Again, because they're pretty. And I'm just going to make them nice little. I may even use them for like note writing. I may go back in and put some lines in there and actually do some of, you know, use it for note writing. The cool. Then I have this that I made for note writing. These I have also made in B sets, and I use them a lot in my scripture writing. Planner. This is just, this is a really, really just loud, I was just playing. <laughs> but it's dashboard weeklies with pretty pink flowers. See, not everybody would like stuff like this. Most people these days like a more minimalist look so that they can you know have options with what they do so they can if they want to decorate they can decorate them the way they want to if they don't want to decorate sometimes people like a very clean look I like both so this is just kind of uh, me playing last night on Canva and I made it really pink I like pink and then these I actually made I've never used project planners simply because uh, I've been so sick past few years. I haven't been able to plan projects, but since I have this uh, Remodel thing going on. I made me a project planner and I made it cute. There's me summertime uh, the little hippo That's me <laughs> And then just I put cute little things on there, but here need to prep because you know you, When you're painting especially you there's different things that you have to do to prep for everything project status to buy for my project, to do, and completed. So I made a couple of those, because honestly it's not gonna take me that much. These are some little weeklies I made that are not really minimalist, but they're, they're kind of pretty. I just made a real faint background on them. I mean, very, very faint. And depending upon your printer, some printers will probably print it out a little bit darker, um, but just, Something different, something different like me. I'm very different. And then more dotes. That I'll do with the same coloring. That's what I've done. That's what I've been doing. You know, idle hands is the devil's playground, lady. So I try to keep my hands busy. Sometimes my hands are only things that will move on my body. And then some days they don't work either. So, you know, it's a, one of those things. But for the giveaway, let me drop it all in the floor first. I hope you guys can't see me. I look horrid, but I'm shaking you too. Okay, so for this past giveaway, I gave away a little um, personal size Webster's pages with a uh, Kiki K inserts. So for the next one, this is a brand new, also personal size Webster's pages. And this is my one of my favorite designs they ever did because this part is actually embroidered. Let's see if we can get you up there so you can see real good. There you go. 
Isn't that pretty? That's so pretty. So, I mean, it's just white everywhere else, which I want a white, white planner. I haven't, I've never used just a white planner. I've always been scared of them, but they're not going to get any dirtier than my pink ones, so that's silly. But on the inside, she's just pretty, pretty pink and white. Isn't that pretty? It's just nice and feminine and pretty. And, of course, gold rings. Uh, Webster's Pages always like their rings. Their rings are pretty nice. And then for inserts, I've got these Carpe Diem inserts right here. So, that will be my next giveaway uh, when I hit 2,000. And I'm going to do it like I did this, this last time instead of saying comment now. Uh, that's too hard to keep track of. So, when I hit it, I will do a video that everyone can leave their name and the state that they're from. And, of course, it'll be U.S. only because shipping rates outside of the United States are just a little bit above my means. Um, so, I apologize to, you know, any of my other viewers. I wish I could, and as soon as I can, I will make things available to you guys as well. Uh, but for now, it'd be U.S. only, so I get you to comment your name and your the state you're from. But we're going to do it when I hit 2,000. That's just easier for my brain to keep, you know, track of and everything. But it's so pretty. This one has got, you know, lots of flowers and stuff on in it. And it's just the month and the... Um, the dashboard in the month that's in it doesn't have any weeklies in it but it's undated so you start it whenever you want to that is the next giveaway so I hope you ladies will like it I'm gonna like giving it to you I get excited about stuff like that oh well anyway I'll let you look at her that's it girls I love you so much thank you for tuning in tuning in please leave a like and a comment so that you know my algorithm kind of goes up a little bit to make a little bit more money when the algorithms there doesn't cost you a thing it is free to subscribe it is also free to like and free to comment but it, it helps bring in a little extra revenue for this little girl right here so i appreciate you love you so much big southern hugs and kisses to you and just be blessed have a wonderful day and as always you know jesus loves you i love you so you are loved bye bye bye